Archbishop Antoine Kambanda of Kigali Archdiocese has become the first Rwandan Archbishop to attain the religious title of Cardinal after he emerged among the 13 Cardinals named by Pope Francis this Sunday. The Cardinal dedication ceremony will take place in Rome on November 28, 2020. Shortly after the news broke, the Archbishop of Kigali Antoine Kambanda shared with our colleague Jean-Pierre Kagabo how he had received this news and what it signified on the relationship between the Roman Catholic Church and Rwanda. Uh, first of all, I thank, uh, I thank God. It's a, a surprise for me. Our history is in the hands of God. God is the author and the guide of history, general history and uh, personal history. I never dreamt that uh, one day I can be in this rank of a cardinal, but uh, it's God's plan, God's will that uh, is uh, done. For that matter, I thank the Lord very much. Because as the gospel of today says, uh, uh, you should love God with all your heart, with all your life, and with all your wisdom. Uh, I love the Lord, and I have consecrated my life to work for God. And uh, I would like to thank the whole, His Holiness, Pope Francis, who has uh, thought of me and uh, has uh, had confidence in me and uh, this gives me a chance to work uh, more for God and for the church that also I love the institution that God established to evangelize and to keep on the, the good news for salvation and so it's a great joy and surprise for me uh, and uh, I will give my contribution as the Lord wants. It's a good coincidence. It has been now 30 years after your ordination as priest uh, and your first ever cardinal here we have in, in Rwanda. What does it mean to the church? Uh, it means a lot for the church in Rwanda because it's the first time in the history of Rwanda to have uh, a cardinal. Uh, up to now we had the archbishops the, for uh, the cardinal is the first time and um, in the region we only had the cardinal of Kinshasa and uh, the neighboring countries in Uganda uh, the cardinal is emeritus in uh, Dar es Salaam the cardinal is emeritus uh, and there is a cardinal of uh, Nairobi. Uh, being a cardinal, it's important for the church, uh, for the local church, because it is trust and uh, an opportunity that uh, the local church is given to, for its voice to be heard and uh, to give contribution in the efforts of evangelizing, uh, to have a concern and a general vision of the church in the whole world and uh, to contribute in the efforts of uh, evangelizing the whole world. And um, that means also the cardinal is among the advisors of uh, the Pope. He's given a church in Rome as part of uh, the councillors of uh, the Bishop of Rome, who is the, the Pope. Uh, the cardinal is among those who can elect uh, the Pope when the Pope dies or when the Pope uh, uh, retires, as it happened for Pope uh, Benedict uh, the 16th. So all in all, it means a lot for the church in the country and also for the country and for the region. Some may think that uh, this is a good sign of good relation between Rwanda and the Roman Catholic Church. What is your take on that? Yeah, it's also part of it because uh, a country which is organized, which has security and uh, facilitates the work of evangelization and the work of the church uh, and in good relations with, uh, uh, with the church and with the Pope, 
with the Vatican. This is also part of, of it. But uh, there is another part, which is the spiritual part and the pastoral part, that is uh, the, the Christians, the faith of the Christians, the work of the church in evangelization, and I think it is a, a recognition and appreciation of the pastoral work that we do. Rwanda has suffered a lot uh, uh, in this journey of reconciliation and rebuilding itself, the church also rebuilding itself. We are very grateful to the Holy Father who recognizes the efforts that we do together, hand in hand also with the state. Thank you so much and good luck to you. Yeah, thank you very much. Well, still on the same note, these are some of the sentiments from a cross-section of Catholics in Rwanda about this news. We received this news with great pleasure as Rwandans and as the Catholic Church in Rwanda because this is the first time in our country to receive a cardinal. This is of great significance to the faith of many Christians in Rwanda and it's going to encourage us more to walk in faith and spread the gospel. We're extremely happy. This has shown us that indeed God and Mother Mary have Rwanda at heart. So we should be strong in faith because God is with us. He knows us and he loves us very much. As Mother Mary said in Kiveho, she's with us and loves us. First of all, we welcome this news very gladly as Catholics and the Catholic Church because not so many countries get cardinals. And it has given us pride as the Rwandan Catholic Church because it signifies the growth of our church in many ways. And that's why the Pope appreciated Rwanda and saw that the Rwandan Catholic Church is taking steps and growing. As you know, it's the cardinals that appoint the Pope and it's from them that a Pope is appointed as well. So it's an incredible thing that we are proud of. 